Buying a car online can be easy with these simple steps. Now, many dealerships are offering online shopping options to make it easier to buy a new car from your couch. But some dealerships are adding new online platforms that allow consumers to select a model, trim level, color options, and get pre-approved for financing and even negotiate the prices and trades in advance. Places like Car Gurus, Varum, and Carvana, and others are options for used cars. Here are some of the steps to take when car shopping from your computer. Welcome back to Car Coach Reports. I'm Lauren Fix. If this is your first time here, we give you more than car reviews and first looks of new vehicles, we give you car smarts. Because knowledge is power. Don't forget to subscribe and click that little bell for notifications so you don't miss anything. Drivers now have easy access to immense amounts of information online to make the buying process, trade-in values, financing, incentives, inventory, and expert ratings, as well as user reviews, right there in front of you on your computer. And this information will give you car smarts. Here are seven tips to make it easier for you to buy a car online. Budget. Your first step you should be determining is how much you can afford to spend. Now this would include calculating such things as fuel costs or electric charging, interest and car insurance, as well as identifying how much you're going to put as a down payment. Now all of these factors calculate into your monthly costs and buyers with higher credit scores are offered better and more competitive interest rates. Car Smarts tip. Make at least a 20% down payment and spend no more than 10% of your monthly budget for all of your vehicle expenses, including maintenance and insurance. Loan. To get the best deal for a car loan, look at credit unions, online banks, and the dealer itself, as well as the bank you deal with on a regular basis. Now, getting pre-approved by a lender will help you shop for what makes sense for you. And when you've agreed on a price, show the dealer your financing and ask if they can beat that rate. Sometimes dealers offer manufacturer-sponsored financing, especially on new cars, which could save you money. Finding the right car. Most people use the internet to determine what type of car they want and find out as much as possible about that make and model and all the available features. I recommend you see a vehicle in person and test drive it before you sign the sales contract. Research the value of your trade. Knowing the value of your trade is critical and if the dealer offers you a low price, you'll at least know what the real value is. So search websites like Kelly Blue Book to determine the value of your used car. Now prices will vary based on age, features, mileage, location, and condition, but there are a few ways to sell a used car. Trade in your used vehicle at the dealership where you're buying the vehicle, and this will give you a tax credit for that vehicle you're buying. Sell it yourself privately on places like Facebook Market, Craigslist, or eBay for cash. Sell to a used car dealer such as CarMax or another local dealer. Car Smarts tip. Don't take the first offer and trade in your used car at the dealership, where you'll most likely get the lowest amount for it. There are plenty of sites that will buy your vehicle just off the vehicle identification number, like Varum, CarMax, and Carvana, to name a few. Having another offer from another company is a good negotiating tool to hold over the dealership's head. The dealership should most likely be willing to offer you more. Contact local dealers for price quotes because once your online research is complete and you contact the dealership for an online price quote, be specific. Tell them the year, make, model, and the options that you want and ask several dealerships for their best offer. Now, many dealerships will sell you a car at sticker price while others have added on a market adjustment fee or an ADM. Ask if you order a car, will there be an additional fee? And if there's a markup, Look at other dealerships who don't charge the extra fees. The online price haggle in today's world with a shortage of cars, both new and used, is very difficult. It's hard to negotiate with prices when there really aren't any existing incentives. Now you can negotiate the dealer fees and you can avoid those extra add-ons, but never offer your monthly payment budget to a salesperson. That allows the dealer to pack whatever they can into a quoted payment and still meet your budget. And don't mention your trade-in or any financing at first. These variables give the salesperson leverage in negotiation. Stay focused on that actual price of the vehicle then you can discuss the trade-ins and the financing.
Before you sign and drive, you may still have to visit the dealership to finalize the bill of the sale, sign any required paperwork, financing, or even insurance paperwork before you pick up the keys in the vehicle. Now, many dealerships are now offering cars and paperwork delivered right to your home, and that's really convenient. So take the time to look over the final contract carefully, check all the numbers, make sure they're what you agreed on, and ask for any explanations of any additional charges or documentation fees that have suddenly slid into that price before you sign the paperwork. The finance and insurance managers will try to sell you on options and add-ons. That's their job. You can always add these later if you need them, but don't be pressured to buy them now because it's going to increase your payments. Here's the bottom line. Buying a car online or doing the majority of the work before visiting a dealer can save you time and money. There's an abundance of information available on the internet and taking advantage of it can reduce your stress and give you a better negotiated price. If you got value from this video, give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. If you have any additional questions, put them in the comments down below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. I'm also answering questions on social media, all forms at Lauren Fix, and also you can stay on top of the best prices and some great new car information. There's more on our website, carcoachreports.com with content in English and Spanish. Get more car smarts in my book, Lauren Fix's Guide to Loving Your Car. The link is down below. I'm also co-hosting the Total Car Score podcast on all platforms where we go behind the scenes to see what makes the industry tick. Thank you so much for watching and we'll look forward to seeing you next time.